Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday to you and yours. Welcome to today's Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. We're in the Flying Iron Spitfire. We're in the clipped wing version. Uh, supposed to be faster than the original version. I don't know by how much faster or any of those things. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going from Lynham Air Force Base or Royal Air Force Base to Sherburn in Elmet. Uh, both grass uh, landing and takeoff. So I think we're going to be pretty good for, for both. We shouldn't have too many control problems or anything when we take off. Uh, so let's get in here and get our weather situated and let's get in the air. Hopefully everybody's having a good day so far. You know, it's interesting. I always get like one viewer that pops in and then they disappear. What's up with that? I don't know if it's like you're... I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. All right. Let's get rid of this weather here. We want to have a nice sunny day. So if we look, so that it looks a little bit different because you got the the wings are clipped at the end. It's like shorter, almost like they're shorter or something. Now I don't feel. Hmm. I would feel a little bit more comfortable if we started back a little farther. I'm going to try to taxi this thing around. I want to get a little bit more distance. That's not a... Oops. Probably not what I should be doing, but... Oh well. Morning, Chris. How are you? Yep. Spitfire Saturday. I just want to get a little bit more. Ooh, boy, we're barely going to clear that. <laughs> World Air 237, continue for south departure. Nope, I didn't change my thing. Lini Ham Tower, World Air 237, continue for south departure. Tower Let's World go. Air 237 frequency change. London Approach World Air 237 is type Supermarine Spitfire, two miles south of Leanyham, 2,000 feet. Request flight following. World Air 237 London Approach. Squawk 0477. Squawk 0477 World Air 237. World All right. Air 237 radar contact two miles south Let's get this thing throttled back a bit. Feet. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two. Roger, World Air 237. Where do we go? I'm doing okay, Chris. Doing okay. A little chilly morning here. Got my coffee. So, I was doing a bit of research uh, on the uh, 
the squadron, the 90, number or number 93 squadron RAF is what this, uh, the markings and all that for this particular Spitfire. They were actually formed up uh, in World War One, and uh, they uh, they were disbanded and started back up again for World War Two, and stayed on duty until uh, well, they were they were done after World War Two. Uh, a Rhodesia squadron became number 93 in uh, uh, it, oh it it flew all the way up until 1960 uh, so there was different iterations throughout the years um Yeah, very storied history. I think their longest service was from November 1950 to December 1960. Uh, and they were based out of initially... What did it say? Well, they served up in uh, RAF Andreas up in the, on the Isle of Man, or Mon. Uh, stationed twice in Germany after World War II. Oh, they were also at RAF Burtonwood. Uh, I looked up Burtonwood. It's no longer an active uh, Royal Air Force base. Because uh, I was hoping we could fly out of there, but it's not. Uh, nothing's there now except a. Uh, uh, I think there's a museum of some kind or something there, from what I read. Uh, yeah. Really interesting history. Now, once we land this plane here at uh, Sherburn in Elmet. Uh, I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, we're going to pop over to the F-15. We're going to go from uh, Lake and Heath to uh, to the Mach Loop. Do a couple runs through the Mach Loop. And then head somewhere for landing. And that will be it. So... I have one viewer over on Twitch. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. Hope you're well. It might be Bick lurking over there. <laughs> yeah, really, sh I like this because it's it's kind of got a metallic like a dull metallic uh, body. You got this big old bright red nose cone. <laughs> so yeah, I got a little bit of a journey. Look inside. As a matter of fact, we can minimize this, I think. There we go. We'll just have a look around inside the uh, cockpit. Nice view off the wings there. Well, it's, uh, 
to be honest, Chris, it's one of those games that you gotta get on every day just to get the practice in, I guess, in a way. You gotta, you know, a lot of people just jump right in and then get frustrated when they don't quite understand how things are supposed to work. You got the whole flight school. Go through all that. It doesn't hurt anything. And it'll help you understand, like, all the things that I remember from flying, you know, doing the, like, the flight school stuff, as I like to call it. It's all tutorials. Uh, that's, it, it helps me remember, like, whenever something's going on, like, I'm like, okay, I just have to kind of fall back on the basics, and I'll be fine. And a lot of people don't do that. They just, they, you know, people think, oh, it's an Airbus, so I can just hop in there, it'll be fine. Oh, good morning, Daniel. Welcome. You know, don't... Uh, I would... Well, it, it's up to you. I think, you know, download it again. Just do, you know, just keep at it, you know. And you'll find... Well, not... Well, the thing that's kind of disheartening in some ways is not everything works right now. Not all the planes will... You don't have autopilot and everything, which is fine. You just got to get used to flying without it. Good morning, Mick. Uh, so if you do that, it's it's okay. Uh, you know, like I'm not flying autopilot, but we're it's we're fairly steady right now, right? Which is good. You know, we're still climbing, but I'm trying. I don't want it to climb too much higher. You know, but it's fine. We're good where we're at. But I don't have to, I'm not like, uh, yanking all over the stick and everything. Trying to keep it, uh, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> That's all good, Daniel. I'm sure it looks a lot better over there than it does on YouTube. So, good to see you here. Yeah, just, you know, uh, now, one of the things that you may like, Chris, is that they're bringing the Reno Air Races to the game. So you have, like, these Mustangs. There's, like, four different planes within the Reno Air Racing. One's a Mustang, and I forget the other three. But, you know, that's one of the things they're bringing to the, to the simulators, uh, air racing. Now, I don't know... Uh, how that's going to work. I'm more interested in the planes than I am the racing aspect of it. But, uh, yeah. It's all good. But, you know, it's it's not an easy game. You gotta just, you gotta learn from the mistakes. You gotta just keep trying. I mean, Mick will tell you, you know, those first few times I was flying, I just, I was nervous and uh, you know, you don't want to mess up, but, you know, if you do, it's okay. You know, you just learn from it and say, okay, what did I, where did I make a mistake? Did I miss something? You know, so there is a lot of learning aspect to it. The community, I feel, for the most part, is pretty good. Like when I, you know, I'm on their the forums and all that. If you have a question, it doesn't matter if you're on the PC or the Xbox. You post in there like, "Hey, I'm new and I'm struggling with this." People will will, you know, talk with you, or they'll say, "Hey, just hit me up on whatever." You know, direct message me and I'll I'll work it work through it with you. So it's a very uh, I think it's a pretty welcoming community overall. So, yeah, I think I think it's good. So, how come nobody's hit the like button yet? What's going on here? Can't believe this. 
Come on, folks. You know how it goes. You hit the like button as you come in the door. <laughs> Not as you leave. <laughs> Birmingham? I'm not in the States. Oh, they're talking about the UK, Birmingham. One three one decimal zero zero five four world air two three seven. Birmingham approach world air two three seven nine thousand one hundred feet. World air two three seven Birmingham approach altimeter two nine decimal nine two continue as planned. Wait. Long Marston. What where's short where's short Marston at? If there's a long Marston, where's the short Marston at? Oh we got a little airport down there, nice. Weston on Avon. Huh. Let's see. I haven't gone over to YouTube yet. Oh, I do oh, no, not you, Daniel. I'm talking about the other viewers on the YouTube channel <laughs> that are already there. <laughs> Man, unbelievable. Let's see how it is. I expected a few more people in this morning, quite honestly. Anywho, yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, it's Daniel's fault. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think uh, just just try at it, Chris. Just go through the like I said, go through the flight group school. Start there first. Don't just think oh, I'm going to jump in and you know, no, do all that and just keep working at it. Keep if you're not sure if you got it, just repeat it. It doesn't hurt anything. You know, you can go back. I can go back to the tutorials right now and do them all again if I wanted. Yep, there you go. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. So, yeah, it's uh But once you once you kind of get it, it's it's a blast and then you just find a plane that you like and you just play play with that for a while but start with the i think it's good you know like what i did i just stayed with the 152 and just kept working through that practicing the landings and and everything and then find another plane and just keep working with that one uh you know, there's there's lots to work through. You know, you just find something that works, that you know kind of where everything is, and you just you can fly and just. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff to remember, you know, like altimeter readings. Oh, uh, you know, if we had bad weather, I would have to dial in. Where's the altimeter? I would have to dial in that altimeter reading. Where is it? I know there's a, usually a dial for it. Hitting compass. But I would have to put that information in. Usually there's a a dial that I have to dial that in in order to have a you know uh, a uh, uh, a correct altitude reading I thought there was an altimeter in here it might be see now I'm looking for something I should be looking outside <laughs> I 
But anyway, yeah, stuff like that, you just got to remember if you're going to fly with live weather on, which is something we're going to do. So here's a little, here's what we're going to do from here on out, folks. Uh, on Saturdays when we do Spitfire Saturdays, we're going to have nice weather. Uh, so that way we just have a nice view of the UK. We don't, you know, I know you guys, it's all cloudy and dreary and stuff. It, it doesn't have to be that way when we fly the Spitfire. I like to have some nice, you know, clear weather, you know, enjoy it. Um, you know, uh, and that's it. And then also on Sundays when we do our, um, aerial tour, that's what will be, Sundays will be aerial tour day, and we'll just find some place interesting to, to do an aerial flight around and just go sightseeing from the air. And enjoy that. So we'll have nice weather for that. You know, it doesn't make any sense to to uh, go flying around somewhere and it's all overcast and rainy and all that other stuff. No, we want a nice sunny flight. Uh, but the, during the week, wherever we're whatever we're flying in or wherever we're going, we're going to keep the live weather on from here on out. And. We're going to keep working through that. So, uh, to add a bit more, I don't know if it's drama, you know, make things a little bit more interesting. Because when it's clear, you know, like it is right now, it's kind of easy to fly. We're not getting buffeted by the wind or anything like that. We're just cruising right along here at 195 knots. So, it's all good. Okay, Daniel. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, there's, uh... We're gonna we're gonna start flying in Spitfire and Chip Shop Saturday double bonus. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're not always gonna have sunny weather, you know. That's that's not very realistic. So we're gonna add a little bit more. We're going to step it up a bit. There we go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to step it up a bit. Two gates? What about one? Where's one gates at? There's two. Why not one? Or where's three gates, for that matter? Where's any number of gates? <laughs> Who cut? I don't know how. How do they come up with a name like that? Ah, uh, couldn't see the. Uh, World Air Two Three Seven this, contact East Midlands approach on one three four decimal one eight. Good day. East Midlands. Oh. Oh, morning, Bex. East Midlands oh, approach, there you world go. Air Thank you. Let's see. Uh, I was looking at some of these names. That looks like a far oh yeah, farmer's strip. That's that's definitely got a grass airfield there.
Well, there's bets. Uh, figured a mellow would be here too. Uh, it's almost seven. The mellow might be. Yeah, I'm looking. So yeah, that's another thing too. Thank you for reminding me, Nick. So tomorrow morning, bright and early for me, a little bit later in the morning for you guys in the UK. We're going to do Farming Simulator on Sundays uh, before we do our aerial tour. Uh, just to kind of break things up a bit. Uh, so we've got a small map. Uh, only one location that I can put a farmhouse and everything. And I've started, I'm starting with money, but no buildings, no equipment. Uh, Mel's in Mr. Addy's stream last. Oh, okay. Um, so I, um, yeah, we're gonna do that. But tomorrow, our first stream, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put the farm together. Basically, we're gonna buy the buildings and the equipment and and all that, and uh, and then uh, next Sunday we'll start planting our first crops. If the fields are bare, I don't know. I have. We'll see what they look like tomorrow when we get in there. Um, but we're going to do that. So we're going to... We're not going to be in a rush. We'll, we'll do some stuff. And then we'll wrap it up. You know, we'll try to... You know, if the crops have grown, then we'll we'll get stuff planted. and You know, or, or we'll cut it all down, harvest it, and then take the stuff over for sale wherever gives us the best price and then uh, I smell cake <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> not quite sure what you mean uh, anyways so uh, yeah we're gonna that's how we're gonna do it we're not gonna try to do a whole lot in you know we're just going to kind of take it easy and just enjoy that and plug away at it and you know we'll change up the crops and try to make some money and keep improving our stuff and, and all that so yeah there we go start making a little slow descent lead off a little bit of this altitude I don't want to go I don't want to lose too much too fast just yet oh girls are making muffins nice Anyways, so there we are. That's the, yep, so Sundays will be farming sim first, and then we'll do an aerial tour somewhere, and that will be it. Rest of the week, we're going to try to do, uh, some of the times we're going to be in the A320. I want to see if we can get the 737 Max going again, because there was an update for that the other day. So I want to try to do some, you know, not like long, I don't want to do five, I'm not going to do a five hour stream. Uh, I don't think that really works. But, uh, so, just to kind of go over what we got going on. So tomorrow, flying tour of Egypt after flight, or farm sim. And then Monday we're doing the uh, flight in Guadalcanal area. area. Uh, in the Cessna 208D, so a little bit of island hopping. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, we are doing the uh, A320neo from Detroit to Birmingham, live weather. 
third uh that's tuesday the yeah, wednesday uh we have we're going to try the 737 so we're going to do uh indonesia okay i'm going to do that because i i don't know if that person was asking i i keep getting people make these comments or whatever to, so i'm going to do it uh anyway so we're going to go from uh jakarta to Su surabaya uh in the uh, 737 max on wednesday and then for thursday i haven't decided yet friday there may not be a stream at all on friday i'm waiting to find out if i have to go to syracuse for a doctor's appointment for one of my consults or if i can if they're just going to talk to me over the over the phone basically so we'll know more uh by the uh end of the week or before the end of the week i should hopefully know something by monday or tuesday at the latest Ugh, excuse me so uh yeah so we're going to try to do some some interesting stuff during the week. Live weather, we're not going to turn off the the storms and all that. We're just we're going to fly it as it is. You know. Uh the only thing that I may manipulate is the time so that uh Hello, Amela. So, yeah, that's what we got going on for the rest of the at least the rest of this week for most of this week coming up. So yeah, we got uh, we got some good stuff coming up, I think. And uh, yeah, Friday's just up in the air now. If, if it's going to be a computer thing, it may be later in the day, or it'll be well after we're done flying. So uh, if it comes down to it, if I can squeeze in, I don't even know what I could squeeze in in a short amount of time. It wouldn't even be worth it. No. Nah. But if if I don't have to go to Syracuse, uh, then we'll uh, we'll we'll see what happens. I I should be able to do a stream and then not have to worry about it. All right. Chesterfield. I wonder if that's where Chesterfield cigarettes comes from. Walter, two, three, seven, contact approach on one, two, six, decimal, two, two, five. Good day. One, two, six, decimal, two, two, five for World Air, two, three, seven. Approach World Air, two, three, seven, eight thousand, seven hundred feet. Uh, well, uh, it's for, uh, one of the consults that my doctor put in. I got to go up to the hospital insert. That's where the VA hospital is for me. So, uh, there, I got to go up there, but my appointment wouldn't be until later in the afternoon. Now I would catch a ride up there, but, uh, you know, I'd have to bring a book or something while I'm waiting because I'm going to be there all day just sitting around waiting. And that's not fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get... Uh, there, if there's a way to do it over the telephone, uh, I'm going to try that or, or we could do like a... a, um, what do you call it? Uh, video conference thing. So, yeah. All right. So I think we are close enough. 
UGCJ. Oh, come on, it should be. Oh, I just saw it. Ah! I thought I saw it. Gotta be popping up soon. I'll give you a few more minutes. All right. Oh, this has gone a little bit quicker than I expected. I thought I picked a decent enough distance that we'd have a nice little bit longer flight, but I guess it worked out just fine because we're going to go, we got to go zip over from Lake and Heath over to the uh, Mock Loop. And have a couple runs through there. So for those of you who missed the uh, Veterans Day flight, you'll get to see the... Uh, Ah, doggone it. I hate that. So, yeah, be prepared for that one. And here, as soon as we uh, put the uh, Spitfire on the ground nice and gentle... I don't think there's any way I can... There must be a ton of small airfields or whatever around here. Goodness gracious. Oh, nice, Daniel. Enjoy. Bon appetit, as they like to say. <laughs> there it is. I just saw it. There we go. And we are going on runway 24. Echo Golf, Charlie Juliet, Traffic World Air 237. There we go. All right. 7,600 feet inbound to land runway 24. A pattern entry right there. There we go. Nice. Looks real nice.
Ooh, let's get there. Oh no. Make it easier to bail out if we have if we're gonna crash. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna minimize that because we're not talking to the tower. And get more chips. <laughs> I don't think he liked the whole extra chips thing, Dick. He seemed a bit uh, unhappy with that. Whereas Abella would be like, more please. Can I get an extra order of those? might have been well you know when you're new you you tend to overdo it maybe just a, a bit you know I think that's just part of the learning process what constitutes a decent amount Pattern entry, here we go. Boy, we are going way fast. There we go, get some flap action. This is when things get a little bit difficult to control. We're slowly, we've lost a lot of altitude. Our airport over there. Oops. See, what you ought to do, Daniel, is get those extra chip chips and then take a picture and send it to Amela. <laughs> that's that's what you do. You don't have to eat them, just take a picture and go like, look what I got, haha, -ha. extra chips, <laughs> and you can't have any. <laughs> That's what you do with extra chips. You just you take a picture and you send it to somebody who knows, you know, would love some extra chips. Oops. Uh oh. Oops. Got a little, a little wonky there for a second. Sure, Mel would love to get a picture of some chips. Also, <laughs> it's 
especially as it's only a little bit after 7 in the morning. It doesn't feel like I'm going too slow. Quite honestly here. Cut the corners a bit here. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, we did it. Not quite the... I landed a little bit short, I think, but we're on the ground safe. That's all that matters. Look at that. I thought we were going to hit those trees for sure. I think we can call this clear of the... Can I call in and say we're clear? Are you giving me that option? I so. Echo Golf Charlie Juliet Traffic World Air 237 is clear of the runway. Well, look at that. We did it. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mick, I had to double check to see who was talking. <laughs> there we go. Not too shabby. Go ahead and shut it down. We got a Oops, move the throttle out the way to get to the battery switch. Oops. Usually that's what happens. Do we gotta turn the magnetos off also? I think so. Oh, well, I guess that's it. What am I missing? Why isn't it giving me... Batteries are off. else could it be i think i hit all the buttons anyway all right well let's get out of here we'll just check to make sure we got credit for that flight here real quick okay logbook we did 
43 minutes of flying. There we go. All right, let's go to, oh, you know what we'll do? I got I to gotta pull up the, I got to get Lincoln Heath's, uh, we'll change it here. I think it's the first one also. Yep. Uh, e G U L, I think it was. There it is. And we'll go. Uh, ramp 14, departure. And we're going to go zipping across right over to here. I got to find. right I had it where to go okay here's this part I gotta follow the You gotta be kidding me. I had like the general idea of where it was. That's not it. That's definitely not it. I felt like this is it. But I'm not seeing the name of the town that where they got the name from. Where did it go? I'm going to have to double check the, uh, well, it's kind of hard to pronounce. The, the town name is M-A-M-O-C, Y-N-L-L-E-T-H. It's in Wales. Uh, but that's where the town got its name, or that's how they, uh, where they got the name from. All right. Uh, I just got to look at the thing and then follow the. Okay, there's that. So it's actually right. It's like right down. There it is. I found it. Okay, so we're just going to put a marker right there. Woo! <laughs> Man, it's like looking for a needle in the haystack. All right, let's get the uh, we'll get the plane started up, taxi out, get airborne, zip out there, 
fly around for a little bit and then Let's clean up the uh, let's clean up the weather first before we forget anything. All right. I gotta find the. Uh, I think that's that. Okay. Oh, there's the battery. Lake and Heath Ground World Air 237 request taxi for takeoff straight out departure. That. Taxiing hold short runway 06 via taxiway Alpha cross runway 06 Alpha Bravo World Air 237. All right, double check that everything is on for the engines. I think they're starting up already. Wow, not too shabby. I just clicked a couple buttons and All right, let's get our lights on. Wow, it's ready to go without me. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it, Mick? I like to taxi out with the canopy open. Get a little fresh air while we can. All right, where's his money? Uh, there's the nav lights. We should be all well lit up. Uh, where's my taxi lights? Put those on just to be safe. Got a nice little... We are taxiing down there. Yeah, I don't think I even have to use the checklist, but I go through it just, uh, if you got, let, <laughs> got wind, let it out now while the canopy is open. Well, I don't have a backseater, so it's just only me, so unless I discuss myself. <laughs> uh, my breaking wind. You know it's bad if you, if you're like, oh. Where did that come from? Oh, I 
got five viewers over on Twitch. Wow. Thank you all for coming in. I know at least one of those is Mick. Sodded or knotted. <laughs> Do say hello in the chat if you're new. Do give us a follow. All greatly appreciated. Little trick, you're in my way. What are you doing pulling out in front of me like that? What's wrong with you? You my escort? Oh, maybe this is my escort to the... Uh, to the runway. Although I'm going to run it over here. Yeah, look at that. Right through the... Right through that little van. stuff right there. Alright, here we go. Lake and Heath Tower World Air 237 ready at runway 06 straight out departure. World Air 237 altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 269 or in 3. Straight out departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 06. Cleared for takeoff runway 06 World Air 237. Ooh, look, there I am in the mirror. Hi, everybody. Uh, I had a few. Oh, a bunch of people just left. Imagine that. All right. Y'all ready for this? Everybody hunkered down in their chair. Hold on tight.
Megan Heath approach World Air 237 feet. World Air 237 Lake and Heath approach altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2 continue. Bex is line. lurking today. What's up with that? Bex has not World been Air known to lurk. Contact London Center on 118 decimal 475. Good day. Usually Bex is a little bit of a chatterbox. World Air 237. What's going London on, Center, Bex? World Air 237 8600 feet. World Air 237, London Center, altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2, continuous planned. Well, it shouldn't take as long to get to uh, Mock Loop, I don't think. Watching the gossip. Oh, I see. All right, there we go. I think we can kind of settle down now. Settle down, everybody. Settle down. We're airborne. That's the important part for right now. <laughs> We're in the air. The one thing I don't quite understand is why the uh, throttles do not move together. It's the only thing that kind of concerns me about flying this plane. It's like you got to keep adjusting. Now we're going 350. Says we're at 105 knots. So. Where did that come from? Hmm. All right. I think we can go ahead and minimize this. We're not getting air, you know, like climb and maintain or anything like that. flying here for just a bit. Yeah, we're still climbing. Uh, a little slow climb, and that's okay. What's the thing for the is it radar mode? Huh. Oh, I see somebody way up there. I have the traffic, even though I'm not required to report it. so honored. Airspace, I'm in the Charlie airspace. I've got my flying goggles on. 
you know, it's funny you say that, Mick. Or, or Chris, I'm sorry. Uh, here's the funny thing. I've seen people, like, dress up like airline pilots and all that when they do their Twitch streams. Like, people take it that seriously. It's just, it's a bit mind-boggling in a way. But, you know, hey, if that's their thing, that's their thing. You know, far be it for me to, you know. But I noticed that, like, people people will have, like, the little captains, you know, with the shoulder boards and all that. I'm like, dang, you're, you're really going all out for this. But, you know, to each their own. Oh, I got five likes. Well, thank you all for that. I think I feel think like some people. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot the crusty salute when we left Lake and Heath. I've gone it. I knew I forgot something. I always like to give the crusty salute. Uh. Yeah, I feel like some people kind of jumped in, looked around for a moment, left a like, and then skedaddled. What's up with that? So I sent Mick a link. Uh, if anybody else wants it, hit me up on Discord. Uh, there's a guy. Uh, his, he goes. His YouTube channel is Elwyn. E L W Y N. R, just the letter R. Uh, he has these amazing, amazing videos that he's been doing over the years with Speedos. Uh, uh, for the mock loop. Uh, videos, some pictures. Uh, just absolutely... Oh! Well, hello, Sue. That's okay. I figured you might have been one of the folks who popped in, left a like, and... Uh, please back some eating. Yeah. <laughs> London Center Ryan Air three seven four one is at eleven thousand five hundred feet, descending one zero thousand feet. Ryan Air three seven four one London. Uh, well, happy to see you here, Sue. Welcome. This is our second and final flight of today. We're on our way to the Mach Loop, right over uh, that way. Over that direction. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's okay. If you said hello earlier, I missed it. I'm sorry. Contact Manchester Center on 118 uh -oh. seven seven five. Good day. We just lost ATC. When it has that voice, I know we've lost ATC. Well, you know what that means, folks. We're not going to have a lot of radio chatter. Yay! Where did that... There was an airstrip right over there. Oh, it's there, now it's gone. It's there. Mesham Cottage Farm... Uh, Mesham Cottage Farm airstrip. Oh. It's over there. What was that over there? So yeah, we're just uh, zipping along here in the F-15 from Lake and Heath. I think I'm staying that right. Nobody's corrected me yet, so I think that's the correct way to say it, Lake and Heath. Uh, oh, there's Birmingham. Hey! Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to zip around the mock loop a couple times and we're going to land in Birmingham. What the heck? Why not? 
That'd be a, a treat for the folks at Birmingham Airport. <laughs> Why is an F-15 landing? What's going on? Oh my goodness. <gasps> ah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mick. I wasn't sure. I, I try I, I you know, if, of course oh so it's not Louisville, it's Louisville. And it's St. Louis, not St. Louis. Well, some people call it St. Louis, but it's St. Louis and then Louisville. Louisville is where I flew to last night there in the A320. It's not Louisville. Although it looks like that's how it would be pronounced. I've been to Louisville before. Years ago. Many years ago. Visited Fort Knox. Didn't see the gold. Did not see the gold. I can assure you that I did not see any gold. If, of course, I would have tried to nick a bar or two, would have been thrown in jail. Yeah, we'll do, once we leave the mock loop, we'll make a beeline for Birmingham. Where if there's, can I find the airport list? It's got to be like right there. EGBB, okay. Why does it always do that? Okay. Wolverhampton. I know somebody from that neck of the woods. Oh, speaking of that, I saw that uh, a uh, football player that played for the Wolves and for the England national team died at 87 years old. Uh, Ron Flowers, I think it was. Somebody pretty, I guess, uh, from way, way back in the early days of football in the UK before FIFA and all that. Is this one of those you cannot say or deny whether you saw all that gold? No, I did not. Uh, <clears throat> no, I, I can assure you I did not. There's no denying it like that there's yeah ooh there's a air base no we're gonna land at Bingham or at uh, Birmingham I almost said Binghamton that's a, that would be a long flight that'd be way too long I guess if you went north arced over the North Pole at 40 something thousand feet that w may not be a, a long flight I guess it depends on which way you go We're almost there. Oops. We're almost there. Try to keep that right there in the center of the gun sight, the HUD, the heads-up display. So you have your speed, your altitude. I think that's your heading. Yep, right there. It's your weapon systems, I do believe, which we don't have any weapons. And there's kind of like what we have in our, our panels. We fly other aircraft. We have a 
a uh, screen like this that shows our uh, navigation. Oh, we got a compass down below. So we're headed west. Ooh, could you imagine if we landed this thing at a glider club? <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of room for that. Yeah, I like I like this little thing that they did with the uh, the mirrors. You can see yourself on the side. You can see the top of your helmet right there, and then on the other side. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little touch, I think. I think there was other lights over here. Nope. Could be wrong. Is this the panel? Oh, I forgot to turn the. All right, here we go. Mellow Saturday just started. Yep. That's it. Chris is never going to live it down that he was nice a couple times in recently. Bex is never going to let him forget it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Just like uh, Bex will never let me forget when I say the B word. <laughs> I don't know why it surprises Bex when I say it. Like she's so she's so shocked. <laughs> All 
right, here we go. Now, I try to remember which way they come through based on the... I gotta watch my altitude for Going sure. Going to 122 decimal 5 world, air 237. Land for approach world, air 237, 6,500 feet. Okay, there is... Canyons, I do believe. I want to try to get down in there. Now the question, the big question will be, can we, can we fly inverted? Ooh. Can we, can we fly inverted through the mock loop? What do you reckon? What are the chances we could fly inverted, huh? We're going to have to try to do that. Let's see. I think the mock loop proper is in that area right over there. Let's see if we can just. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that. Hmm? If Tom Cruise can do it, yep. That's right. If Tom can do it, I can do it. Alright, I think this is the proper area over here. It's like more mountainous based on the uh, on the videos. I'm pretty sure it's over in this area. This looks like this looks like it right here. around too much. 
Otherwise, I might cause an accident. Now, let's go back through. Let's see if we can do a quick roll through there. Without hitting the... Uh, Ooh, boy, that was close. Oh, I got five viewers over on Twitch. Welcome. Ah, look at this beautiful countryside here in the in Wales. Climb out there. Oh, let's. Oop. Oh. I went. I went vertical again. Or inverted again. <laughs> Vertically inverted. <laughs> oh, six people are watching. Well, thank you all for coming in on Twitch. Hopefully, you're enjoying this. near or thereabouts the area of the mock loop just having a little bit of fun we'll be wrapping this up shortly ooh now that's a view That might that might make Beck sick to her stomach. Yeah, what? <laughs> what you don't like? You don't like looking up the the world's upside down. You look down, and there's the world. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm in both now. Oh, nice, Daniel. All right, I think that should do it. Let's get out of here. 
Uh, I'm trying to remember which way it is. I think Birmingham's back. Back somewhere over yonder. Plane's stable enough for a moment. EGBB is our airport we're looking for. Oops. We're just going to have to That is kind of fun though flying like this. But you got to Ooh, look at that. We're doing it. Look at that. What is flying inverted? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Woo-wee! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was close. That was close. Well, there we go, folks. Hopefully that was entertaining for you today. Decimal seven seven five for World Air two three seven. Manchester Center World Air two three seven two thousand six hundred feet. What a way to see the uh, English countryside or the Welsh countryside, the land of Wales. Big old salute to the mock loop. Get a little crusty salute there. That was fun. A record. Oh, no. Here's the question, Bex. Did you grab the chair when I was flying? Like you were. You felt like you were in the. Right here? And you were like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Did you lean left or right as I was flying? <laughs> Come on, just. Any, well, anybody. It doesn't have to be Bex, but did anybody do that while I was flying? Just be honest. I know somebody did. There's at least a couple of you that did. I think Mick probably had to set his latte down. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, that's quite fun, flying like that. Something fun to do. Just pull the face. <laughs> just, you just pull the face. What does that mean? I've never heard that one before. Bex was being sick. Oh. <laughs> Did you go like, oh, you grit your teeth, go like, oh. Oh my god, he's going to crash any moment now. <laughs> uh, okay, there's Midland Glider Club. I remember that. So I think we're headed kind of the right direction here. You know, I was watching the... Uh, they were talking about the filming of the new Top Gun movie and all these actors who were, you know, the different fighter pilots in Tom Cruise's uh, wing. My head was leaning. I, I have also been told I can lean my head when driving the F1 car through. Oh, yeah. 
I do that sometimes too when I was when when I race I'll I'll like move I'll even turn the controller like it has any bearing on what I'm doing. You know. So Alright, let's see if we could find E G D B. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we'll go to Shawberry Air Base. There we Shawberry go. Shawberry Tower World Air 23716 miles southwest, 7,700 feet to land. Make left downwind runway 23 World Air 237. All right, there we go. Yeah, otherwise we'll be flying forever looking for... So screaming like an excited... <laughs> uh, girl child okay that's a new one girl child not heard that one before one more how about it? one more One more barrel roll just for good measure. Oh. In in the cockpit too. We usually get that kind of action outside. Well, I do hope everybody's enjoyed today's shenanigans. Back tomorrow, farm simming, we'll get started on the farm, get our, get everything built up, little steps at a time, it's okay. I think I can go ahead and drop it. Better pay attention to what's going on up here. Can't put the flaps down just yet. Gotta bleed off a little bit of air speed. Clear to land runway two tree world air two tree seven.
Oh, crap. Shoot. Ah, doggone it. Oh, man. Going to one, two, two decimal, one world, air two, three, seven. I was totally not paying attention. I was losing altitude too quickly. Doggone it. Oh, well. <laughs> I should have been way higher. That's all right. Well, it was fun anyway. Hello? Anybody home? Crash my jet in your yard. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, somebody will write you a check for your farmhouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. What you? What happened to you this weekend? Oh, F fifteen crashed into my yard. What were you up to? Nothing like that. <laughs> Blame Bex. The best solution. Uh, oh well, it was all fun. I I was trying to keep the throttle because that's one of the things, and I I hope in uh, the. Uh, uh, that they fix it, but yeah, because it, it seems like one moves, it's like they don't move together. So I was trying to get that and I was losing altitude, so but that's okay, it was all good. So I had a good time, hopefully, you guys did too. And, uh, I think that will be it for today. Tomorrow, we will be in the trusty 152. Where is it? There we go. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of fun in that tomorrow. What is this livery? I think I've looked, but I don't remember what it is. Ooh, ooh, nah, that's not me. No, thank you. This will work. Uh, so yeah, flying tour of Egypt, uh, well, thank you. Appreciate that, everybody. <clears throat> so, uh, farming tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And then we'll do the flying around Egypt, and uh, that will be it. I hope everybody has a great rest of their Saturday morning, afternoon, whatever the case may be. I will see you all later. Peace. Live long and prosper. <laughs>